How's it going everybody? Welcome to another GHMV Reacts. Today we are reacting to a suggestion by Mezo51184. They suggested that I watch the scene of Lucky confronting Luke about raping Laura. Uh, if I haven't seen those scenes. I have seen those scenes, they are amazing, but it's been years since I've actually watched them. So I'm stoked to watch it again. So let's start, shall we? I miss Jonathan Jackson so much. Honestly, Tony and Jonathan made magic on screen together anytime they were together, even in the later years. Forget it. Not until you explain the pack bag and the attitude. I don't know you any explanations. Not anymore, not ever again. Okay, I'm the enemy. That's a start. What else? I'm out of here. You're not going anywhere until we have this out. What are you going to do, Dad? What? If I walked out the door, what would you do? Force me to stay? Why? Because you're stronger than me? What do you know? Say it. Lucky dog. Say it! You think that's gonna make you feel better? I promise you it won't. I wanna hear the words. If you can't look me in the eye and tell me the truth, man, that we have nothing, we have less than nothing. Less than nothing? Is that so? All right. A long time ago, long before you were born, in another life, I raped your mother. There is no big lie. You were conceived, born, and raised in love. Nothing but love. And what happened between me and Laura a long time ago, and what happens between us now, are personal matters between a man and his wife. It's so crazy that Luke and, and Laura were like the, the biggest soul couple soul in history when it started with a rape. I never thought that I would look into your eyes. No one could emote like Jonathan Jackson though. They made this poor guy cry so often on the show, especially when he came back. <laughs> it felt so bad for him. In those days I managed a disco. Campus disco. Cheesy little joint. Laura worked for me. Too young. 
too young to understand the power of obsession. I was a walking dead man, literally. I'd been marked for execution by the organization. I'd become what Frank Smith used to call expendable, which meant disposable. I was drunk. That's not an excuse. That's a fact. I was very drunk. But not as drunk as I planned to be. It was late. The disco was closed. I was alone. Seemed like as good a time as any to die. And I was as close to putting a bullet in my head as I've ever come. There she was. My angel. She was dressed in blue. Blouse. One of those skirts that wrap around. shoes, high heels, with uh, straps around the ankles, and a brown sweater, she carried a brown sweater, her hair was long and loose. You know how she wears it, like spun gold. God, she was beautiful. How I loved her. I'm going to geek out for a minute. I love that they use the flashbacks, but continue having him narrate and just have it silent like this. I told her, I warned her to leave me. It works so well for the she scene. Didn't. She wanted to talk. She talked about Baldwin. How their marriage was over, I think. I don't know. It doesn't matter. She wanted to know why I was crying, and she couldn't accept that there was nothing she could do to help. And I told her, go home. Go to your husband. But she didn't. It was absurd. Insane. Pathetic. It's so crazy so how familiar. young Jeannie Francis looked so much like Julie Berman. Like, they looked exactly alike. Me needing her. I miss that Lulu, too. Uh, I say it all the time. You guys know. not going away. She touched me, and her hand was cool and soft, and she felt like salvation. And she smelled of roses. And I wanted to drown in her. I wanted her to hold me underwater till my last breath exploded inside me I wanted to die in her arms but then she turned away I wanted her to stay. And that was the dance we did, you see. Back and forth. Push and pull. There was a song. 
Rise, on the Herb Albert. The song on the turntable was Rise. She was standing on the dance floor looking at me. Eyes so blue, and I reached for her. Every time I hear this song, I, I can't not think about this scene. Can you imagine going what Lucky went through, just seeing, you know, a good friend of his get raped and then hearing that his dad did that to his mom, like... Oh. I think I blacked out or something. When I came back to myself, I was standing, I was looking down, and she was huddled in a ball on the floor sobbing and her clothes were torn. I don't know how that happened. Her face was smeared with makeup, black tears, streaking, streaking her beautiful face. And I reached out to her, you know, to help her out, to, to say I'm oh, sorry, to apologize. To hurt her. And she cowered away from me like a little wounded. Oh yeah, Alora and Elizabeth ended up in the same exact spot in the park by that fountain. That's what I remember. Really. A good connection to the past. Well done to the show runners from that point. That's all I know. Tony and Jonathan so much. Ugh. They really decimated the Spencer's man. So good. I mean, no one does better than Tony Geary when it comes to scenes like this. It's it's good to watch back and see, you know, how the pros do it. Not that GH isn't filled with really ta talented actors right now, but you know, Tony was in a league of his own. So, what can you do? Oh man, so good, so good. Man, I remember the scene with Lulu finding out about the rape was pretty good too. But honestly, I've looked for that scene over the years, and the only one that I could find was one that was going back and forth between Lucky and Lulu, so I didn't want to watch that because I wanted that Lucky scene just on its own. 
Uh, but who knows, maybe one day I'll come across it again. Anyway, thank you so much, Mezo51184, for that suggestion. Anytime I get to see Tony and Jonathan act together on screen is a good day for me. Um, next week, I'm going to be reacting to uh, GHFan51184. That's, I don't know if this is the same person or if it's just a coincidence with the number, but they suggested that I watch Breakups. Uh, I'm going to definitely do the breakup of Johnny and Lulu like you suggested, GH fan. But since I can, you know, kind of work with that and do a couple of other reactions within that sort of theme, I will ask you guys what other breakups you want me to see. I'm going to be doing the Johnny and Lulu one and then I'm going to pick two more from your suggestions, okay? So hopefully you give me some good ones. I am so stoked to watch whatever you guys request. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you guys this weekend. Peace out. Let me hold it down. Let